there's almost nothing Bateau has not accomplished. Here's Roberto's kick. It's long enough. It is right down Monroe Street. It is good from 52. He's got plenty of leg, and he's got a 54-yard field goal. He put it through the uprights. It's good again, and he's got a handful. And now Roberto Aguayo can add a game-winning kick to his resume. Good! And the Seminoles lead 20-17 to with three seconds remaining. Every week I've practiced it since... Since I was a little kid in my backyard uh, with my brother, we'd always uh, try to make each other miss the, uh, the kick, and uh, I mean, it just felt natural. As Aguayo headed out to make the kick, his nerves weren't rattled. Although he had never been in that situation before, he had practiced it numerous times. Dream come true, made the field goal, and it wasn't until after where I really told myself, like, that was a game winner, and that was my first one. Especially, I mean, you always remember your first... Uh, game winner. I mean, I'll, I'll never forget that kick. Aguayo has made four 50-yard field goals in his career, three of which come in this year. He's never missed a PAT, and his career kicking percentage is 93. He was named a finalist for the Lou Groza Award once again. His game-winning field goal against Boston College may have clinched the award for the second time in his career. He would join Sebastian Janikowski as the only kickers ever to win the award twice in their career. I mean, that guy right there is as good as there is now. I mean, and if somebody wins it over him, he's a heck of a player. You know what I mean? And that, that, there may be. I don't know. But that guy, I wouldn't trade him. I know that. Aguayo will find out December 11th as he looks to take home the award for the second straight year. Inside Doak Campbell Stadium, Jonathan Schlesi, Seminoles.com.